Now, if that is only reads the component, normally you say that you have three components of velocity. Vx should result in x momentum. Vy to give you y momentum. And Vz to give you z momentum. So if there is no Vy and Vz, Vx, there will be no x momentum and no y momentum in this system. There is only z momentum. Okay. 
is still correct, still give you correct answer. However, when you integrate this shell to cover the whole system, you need to integrate it with respect to X, Y, and C all together. That's part. Okay? So in order to avoid the difficulty in integration, you need to set up the shell properly. And the way to do it, there's uh, several guides. The first guide is that you need to look into the velocity component. If it does not change in which direction, like in this problem, the velocity does not change in y and z direction, your shell can cover the whole system in that particular direction. Like in this system, velocity does not change with respect to y and z. Your shell can cover y direction and z direction right, right away. That's the first guide that you can choose. The second guideline is that normally the shell would be put in the system perpendicular to the direction of momentum transfer. Okay? So if you use that guideline and look into the system like this, we know that right now velocity is changing in x direction. Like this, velocity here is high velocity, this is low velocity. There will be a change in velocity in x direction. So therefore, there will be momentum transport in x direction. Remember, momentum transport takes place from high velocity to low velocity, always. So whenever you have two points in the system, whereas velocity are not equal, there will be momentum transport in that direction. So look into the system. Right now we have at least two, two spots here along x direction that velocity are not equal. So therefore, the shell must be perpendicular to that direction. In other words, whenever you see difference in velocity in which direction, that direction of the shell is supposed to be thin. So I have velocity difference along x direction. So therefore, my shell here should have a thickness of delta x. There is no velocity change in z direction. My shell can cover the whole c, whole length of l. And there is no difference in velocity in y direction. So therefore, my shell can cover the whole length of w. Okay? At this point, any question? It is critical to set up the shell correctly. The safest, if you set up the shell like this, the equation will be complicated. If you set up the shell like this, for example, Shell here, we have length of L, 
split this of delta and width of delta y. Conducting shell like this means you assume velocity change in which direction? In y direction. It does not change in x and z direction, right? Is it correct? No. So if you set up shell like this, you get the wrong answer. So the shape of the shell determines whether you get the correct answer or not. Okay? So this is the tricky part. Of course you can. The answer will be the same. 